Hello, precious and brilliant jewelry community. Welcome to this video about chains. So we're going to make something uh, nice. Um, I'm going to import a very famous SDL of a sculpture. So it's a free SDL you can get on any major uh, STL website and um, this is a sculpture by French sculpture of the last uh, last century uh, obviously he didn't do he didn't do the SDL because he's long dead All right um, it's free for personal usage so obviously we're not going to be selling the SDL okay obviously uh, and uh, this is the bust of the Baroness Cipierre uh, which uh, the original is uh, in a Danish museum so we're going to lay a chain around her neck Oh, that sounded kinky right there. Pretty cool. Okay, um, let's uh, just do some uh, set origin geometry. And you know what? I have the screencast here, so let's turn on the screen. The screencast. Now everybody is going to be happy. Even people who don't speak English or Spanish, or everybody is going to be happy. Okay. Um, and anyway, if you get lost someday, just go to the website atelierlausana.design oh, and uh, there you can find uh, all you need to find. All right. Okay, so we're going to add a basic curve, basic curve, a basic curve. Okay, so uh, let's go to top view. Uh, you know what? Let's rotate. Uh, let's rotate this uh, minus ninety degrees. Control A, rotation right there. Okay, let's. So we are facing front to the front. Face to the front. That's better. Okay, front view. Now top view. Edit mode. Let's make this uh, bigger. Look. Um. Let's move uh, these points uh, here and let's move it right there. And let's start with just something like here. And uh, Z, one, two, three, four, somewhere right there. Okay, that's uh, cool. Let's go there. Let's go move this around here somehow. So let's start with just two points. We're going to be good. In the beginning, it's going to be enough. And uh, just move a bit backwards here. Okay. Obviously, I can't go uh, further back because of the hair, even if the chain would be there. So that's going to be nice. Okay, um, we have this. All right. Okay. Uh, let's go and put more resolution. Let's go at uh, 60. Okay, we have this. This is going to be the chain, the chain path. Just put the name you want. Now, let's forget the Baroness for a second. Uh, let's add. Okay, uh, let's add a curve circle size of one. Let's center this and let's go have a look there. Uh, let's make this SX somewhere there and SY. Uh, no, no, why not? This, just move it a bit uh, like, do it, sorry, numerically 0.12. Let's go here, just the control point. Let's move it uh, 0.12. This one, let's go I minus 0.12. 
this at minus 412. Okay, we have this. So now something fun, uh, just a little new uh, feature in Blender 291. You go to geometry and the bevel already comes with the round shape. So let's go at 225. Oh, that's because we need to control A scale and that's worse. Ah, it's because it's 225 something like this. Okay, this is better. Okay, so this is uh, just a normal link. Let's go and use the famous array modifier. Now, um, we are going to um, yeah, let's put whatever 30. Now, let's go and add okay, let's do a shift S cursor to select it, add empty screen axis. Nice. Now, uh, not relative object offset from the empty, no, not from the light, from the empty. Now, when I take the empty, we can move the empty. Let's move the empty, something like there, okay. And we can rotate the empty on the X axis. Let's go at 40 maybe, something like that. So the chain gets a nice twist, but we can do something funnier if I, come back a bit like this we can have a double twisted chain which is really cool with 40 degrees and that looks pretty nice and we're going to put uh, whatever uh, more let's go at 60 maybe okay and then comes the famous and problematic curve modifier that goes with the curve here okay Everything went down perfectly for one simple reason. My chain was already at the origin. And that's very important because the curve modifier takes the chain and puts it to the curve you, you well, you're, 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 you're saying, you're telling to Blender, uh, do that, take my mesh. And that's the curve and you put it there on the curve. But if the mesh is not at the origin, is going to offset. Actually, it's something we can use. Um, well, let's say if I move the chain, well, it's going to <laughs> to to get uh, very funny things. That's because of the array modifier. Okay, so don't move just the link. And actually, let's call this uh, chain link. Okay, uh, but if I take the chain and the empty, it's going to offset like this or like that, which is uh, useful in some occasions. But anyway, so the chain must be at the origin. Okay, now let's do something funnier because that's lame. Everybody know how to do that. Okay, let's take the curve. And let's put a uh, shrink wrap to the curve. Let's select the Baroness. Um, boom. Okay, we need to set that up. It's a project on the Z axis and we need a negative. So it goes down, which is minus Z. Okay. Now, the chain is not going to the shrink wrap curve which is a bit offensive and deceptive in this occasion like because the curve is going perfectly to the bust of the Baroness so how we solve that well it's really easy in fact okay um we're gonna have let's copy the past because we're let's hide the original even if it's a curve, this modifier you can apply to the curve. Okay, so now the curve is there. That's that's the shrink uh, that's the shrink wrap curve, but it's not very good. Why? Because I only use two control points, and that's why I copy the curve. So you can see that that's not going to be good enough. So let's delete the copy. Let's take the original again and actually let's copy the original again and hide it. So to make this all better, let's go to edit mode. Let's do an A 
w subdivide and subdivide the curve a couple of times the more you do it not necessarily the best do it a couple of times but don't do it too much but let's say this might be pretty good and it's going to be good for a very simple reason uh, the software gets more control points to follow the projection and uh, the mesh so we have this this is already better so now we just need to apply the shrink wrap and obviously we need to say that because I made the copy it's not following that curve we need to follow the new copy curve and here we are oh that's very interesting obviously but look at this it's following so obviously it's a bit inside okay because the curve modifier puts the well the object on the curve exactly on the curve and because it's a chain we we must be just a bit over the mesh but i trust that you are so good that you already know what to do and move your chain but anyway we need uh, more let's put maybe 20. oh that's that's perfect that's perfectly good that's perfectly good that's amazing okay so uh that's the chain link let's make a copy of that let's hide the originals like i always do let's make that into a convert to mesh so this is the chain the chain on the bust all right so as promised and because a subscriber asked me uh, what about chains this is part of the answer on what about chains and uh, but well obviously let's move it a bit here and a bit there to make a nice render okay and this is perfection 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 perfect okay so uh well now i'm going to go on and make the render of the chain because um it's really cool and uh, let's do it with look score so look score here we go gpu let's go at 32 32 32 32 light tracing at i put it at in, let's go at, yeah let's stay at 85 now clamping we need to render first advanced seed 7 because that's the number i like color management at filmic very high contrast we are going to use the denoiser at 12,000. Okay, now this needs a smooth shading. Okay, we can see this and that here and there. Let's go check the normals for a second. Okay, it's not helping. So we might have, uh, let's check for duplicates, uh, merge by distance. No, it's already clean in, indeed. Okay, so let's just do a smooth, okay, there, uh, maybe twice, maybe a second, no, just once, that's better. Okay, uh, this is really cool. Now, this is going to be a new material uh, marble, just because, yes, uh, uh, this is going to be a new material gold, here we are. Let's go and put an HDRI, a uh, blah, 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 images. Uh, let's use uh, which one? Come on, slider, slide. Uh, where's my, uh, this is 8K, 4K, 8K, 4K. Okay, it's much. Where's the 4K? 4K version, right there. Okay, let's have um, a, a preview there. Okay, and also uh, for those who follow the channel, uh, okay, and for those who don't, well, just subscribe, turn on notification, become members. Members are going to get this as the simple scene of the month. 
So actually, it already looks good. <laughs> Why should we go any further? Let's turn off the overlaps. That's pretty nice. Ah, obviously, you're gonna get that without the bust because, like I said, we're not selling the bust at all. It's just for the demonstration, for the sake of demonstration. And also something important about chains. Okay, let's go back to this because I believe that. Okay, chains. When you want to manufacture a chain, uh, where are you? Where are you? Uh, chain link, chain link. This is what I want, the chain link. Okay. Uh, well, obviously this chain is mechanically manufactured we don't well you could do it by hand but now it is slower all right so generally this model of chain you just go to a chain dealer and you buy the chain that's all but anyway if you want to manufacture a chain uh, and 3d printed it uh, you can simply well some models you can print the entire chain and some printers are able to keep the links separated but the old way would still be that at this point right there okay then when you have the link you're done you just explore that as an SDL and you just print the link just one that's that's enough you make a mold you make casting and you're done um, so all that follows is for rendering questions, rendering uh, rendering the image so you can show the client and uh, tell your client, look, I made a very pretty chain design. And that's all, but that's not for manufacturing. When you start with the array, we, when you start with the curve modifier, this is because you want to render the chain in a realistic uh, setting, realistic manner and that's what we have now so that's why i'm going to uh, make the the rendering so let's go and hide everybody that's this is not going to be rendered this uh, either all right let's remove the lights uh we don't need that it's just the chain, the bust, everything. All right, uh, let's create. I uh, ah, know you know what. Let's create. Absolutely not. I ah, know. Yeah. Let's do. Let's create a mesh plane. Uh, let's face it to the view. View. Let's make it big. Go over here. This is, like I said, this is just for the rendering. So. Uh, let's go here. Let's go there obviously that changes the illumination uh, let's make a render okay th so this part is pretty nice oh you know what let's do an oh control zero that's to set the camera nothing's showing up because we need a uh, clip ending at uh, 12,000 there you go now let's rotate the per uh, let's let's make a vertical render because this is going to be a portrait a very nice portrait uh let's move it a bit uh, maybe 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 a bit higher here okay now let's create here uh, add an empty plane let's call it dot 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 okay this is perfect because obviously we're not interested in the sculpture when we're interested in the chain so um okay let's focus a bit here all right um chain camera camera so camera 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 uh, let's turn the depth of field on the DOF. Let's put all six, uh, something like that. Uh, let's go back to, okay, now let's go to shading anyway. So a render preview. Let's go to, uh, 
okay we have this so uh the gold the gold uh we need two gold materials let's go show nodes okay now let's remove this uh, let's add the uh, metal shader it looks core here we are set it right there let's uh let's remove this overlaps there now let's uh do a uh, gold color right there that's good now we what do we want uh we want well that's that won't be marble let's call it plaster simpler okay what we can do is just make it glossy um to make something nice glossy right here right there glossy here let's okay that's better that's nice it's nice enough we can check maybe the IOR at this is just for reflection matter let's put it five makes it more reflective no that's horrendous let's go to 1.5 just to make it a bit and uh, that's let's make it roughness maybe at 0.1 uh, okay nice now the background background let's put a material to background let's call it back there you go let's make it uh, pinkish I guess but more like orangish pinkish something like that that's pretty good and uh, what else what else what else well nothing much uh, in fact let's turn on let's turn out the tone mapper let's turn on the vignette uh, um, Okay, the depth of field is going to go even smaller. Let's go at 002. Mm, 001. That's nice. Okay, on the background. Okay, here if we want to have fun, let's add a texture image. Let's load an image. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Let's load. What are we going to load? Maybe this. Let's plug it into bump. Obviously, it's not ready without the bump map. But let's put Utios bump. I plug it first and then the because it's faster. Here we go and bump there ah but you know what yeah you need to add a uv map let's go let's go and um ah that's pretty nice already just the color so we're gonna make some color variation with that's already pretty good even if it's not really a marble for now, um, I might change. It's pretty cool, but maybe I'm going to use. I know what. Let's go and make. Let's take this. Shift D. Let's move it up there. Let's go and make a mix. Ah, come on. I'm going to remove the preview for a second. Oops. Okay, we're back. Anyway, so. We're saying take this, duplicate, add, mix. I'm going to mix the materials. I'm going to make two different materials uh, right there. 
So first let's try the new one. I'm going to use another image here. So let's uh, put in another image. Something maybe more uh, remote. Mm -hmm. Something with this. Okay, that's going to be very nice. It's like this. Um, <laughs> it's funny. Because the okay, no, that one is too similar to the other one. Let's do. Let's use another one. Oh, okay, this could be nice and worst. Okay, and it also comes. It comes from the obviously the the UV map. It's making that. It's funny because. Actually, I didn't do any UV uh, unwrapping, but it gives it a very interesting look, a very artistic result right there. So, that's funny, but let's go to, let me, let me see what the mixing looks like just a yeah okay let's go there okay let's go to uv editing for a second I'm going to make a project from view bounce here, ASX, just to make it scale and a bit smaller right here. This should be good enough because obviously I'm, well, first I'm not going to make an animation of this and this is just for, yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, now mixing, mixing is at five. Um, it's too harsh, but it's interesting. It's interesting. I'm going to... Okay, let's first, let's, ha let's, look, let's have a look at each separate material. Okay. That's because of the of the angle of the projection. Oh, <laughs> it looks too flat because it's flat from the, the view. It's interesting, but it's not good enough. Doesn't sell the volume of the bust, and uh, we're not selling the bust, I know. But for the metal, let's take the chain for the second and remove. Uh, Okay, let's put the roughness at zero, really, on the metal there. That's better. And let's make it a bit darkisher here. I'm not going to put... Yeah, it's too... No, it's too... Color is too strong. But let's go a bit red, more reddish. And a bit darker a bit details you know details okay we have that okay so just um, there the the bump maps I'm going to bring them at 02 less because that's way too strong and uh, this one also in any way I'm going to change no I said 02 thank you okay right there I want to change the the map. Let's uh, maybe use a cube projection uh, right 
here let's have a look if it makes a better effect on this specific orientation yeah to the better but I'm going to change uh, well it's still too strong this cut it in half again yeah that's a bit better okay that's a bit better I want to see if the background reflects much of the color so I'm going to put something rather bluish okay that's better because in fact my front material is already pinker so let's go at something like that but also then I'm going to yeah I'm going to map an image there let's go texture image obviously with some clouds just for fun and because the image is looking interesting obviously thanks to the, the nice sculpture right let's load an image uh, let's load, uh, let's load this I guess let's put some uh, here we always need to add the mapping without mapping nothing is going to map right there now uh, maybe I need to check face orientations where no, is it Okay, let's go just to UV editing of that. We're going to make obviously a front projection view. Yes. I'm oh, sorry. Okay, just put it there. That's a bit better, but it's too bluish uh, purple. So let's bring in it is HSV. Now I guess we're gonna go at mm, point fifty five. Now it's the other way. You never know which way it's gonna go. Okay, that's nicer and maybe a bit uh, more 85, less saturated. That's very slightly less. That's pretty nice. Okay, I'm going to keep changing. The bust is still too much. Too much bump. Let's go at 05. It's still, I'm still going to cut it by half and by half. There we go. And the roughness, maybe also, let's get it by 10. Yes, that's pretty nice. Okay, that's good enough for today. Okay, great. So, I hope you really enjoyed this video. It was about making a chain. So there are many videos uh, out there on how to make a chain with Blender. Well, there are not even so many. And uh, they just all show you how to uh, use the, 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 the curve modifier with all the problems you can get. Some people are going to tell you to use add-ons for that. Generally, you won't have much problem of putting the chain exactly where you want it without too much deformation yes because we all know that the curve modifier might deform or mesh a lot but that's okay right uh, and as you can see i showed how to use the shrink wrap modifier 
and to get it perfectly on the neck of our model and uh, I think that's a nicer way to explain uh, and, and to do things because now you can set the chain wherever you want and in a very perfect fit just like I did today with our Baroness Sipiere okay so don't forget to subscribe don't forget to become members uh, because members they get each month obviously uh, there's a fee for the memberships on YouTube but you're gonna get my textures and my models obviously uh, uh, well from this scene I won't be including the bust model because obviously it's not mine that's a free model you can get on the internet and uh, but you get my models the, each month you get two scenes the basic one and the advanced one this is going to be the, the basic one so obviously I'm going to replace wait it's just the chain and the look score setup but anyway hope you like the video uh, thanks a lot uh, as always blessed uh, brilliant and precious jewelry community uh, and uh, well take care see you soon bye